chance of survival, I think, if you come. But we're not promising anything more than that. And so bring a water bottle, a hat, good shoes, and a prayer book. And you should let Yevgeny know, uh, because he should not be waiting for you uh, for the um, um, Raya, I mean, if, if you are joining, OK? But how many chance to survive to the bank? What, what? Because of a lot of things. I don't know. No, no promises about yes. success. No promises okay. about it being pleasant. No promises whatsoever. So this is one option. The other option is that you meet at 4:30 near the restaurant to take the bus and the funicular uh, to, to the top. Okay. And the, the other thing I want to say that uh, this will be the last talk, not only this morning but today. Okay. Uh, Okay, so it's my pleasure to introduce... So, one, one more word. The way back, we will just be joining the bus. Okay, we're not hiking the way back. Yeah. And the it will be nice. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So, the last talk will be given by Michele Mulazzani from Bologna, who will speak on knots and links in land spaces. Thanks, uh, organizer. In such a nice place in sunny days. And this is a joint work with uh, Enrico Manfredi, the rest of the Greca of my university. And um, uh, as the title suggests, there are some study about knots and links in lens bases. Uh, just to mention that all these results are contained in these two papers. One already published by me, Alessia and Manfredi, and the other by Manfredi, I think is already accepted somewhere, maybe in Journal of Not Theory and Let's see. It's already published. Already published? Published. Oh, it's already published. So both are uh, published. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay. So what are motivation to study knots and links in this place? The first motivation is the same of Sergei Matveyev told in his lecture. 
because uh, um, in in boundary case the most uh, um, simplest uh, um, three manifold uh, except the three goal are thickness of faces. But in closed case the most the most uh, the, the sim simplest um, closed uh, three manifold uh, uh, after S3 are exactly length space. So this is first motivation, but there are more motivation because uh, this surprisingly there are there are applications of not links in the space to other scientific disciplines as um, in biology DNA composition and also in uh, theoretical physics with topological stream um, theories. So there are less in paper about this. So the study of knotted links uh, is very old, but uh, the usual space is R3, S3, and only recently uh, there are uh, new, new, new results about knotted links in compact closer or not closer to me. Of course, results about length spaces are the, the easiest after S3. Okay, what about? something about the space. There are uh, different models for the spaces. Uh, everybody knows. There are some <coughs> models by by Egger. The uh, spaces are inside by two integers. They are classified classification by randomized Model is the fourth one as an identification 
quotient of We will use this for presentation. It's exactly explained in this. Okay. Take a three ball uh, in the boundary of the three ball, which is a two sphere, you identify points in the upper hemisphere X, points X on the upper hemisphere with this point in the lower hemisphere. What's the rule? You give a rotation around the extra axis of two P, Q or P radians and you arrive here more or less and then you project vertically and you get the point. So <laughs> when the point is in the upper, is out of the equator, in the boundary there are exactly two points, but in the equator uh, any point is, is due to this one is with this position. So this, this presentation is, in some sense, not homogeneous in the boundary. The problem happens in the equator, as we will see with moves. When uh, P is 2 and 1 and Q is 1, uh, this map, this blue map, is just the antipodal map, so it's exactly the, the Project, three dimensional projective uh, space. When P is 1 and Q is 0, it's just a still, it's not interesting for us. So we study links, uh, don't read this mess, this is the interesting <laughs> result. <laughs> but uh, I want to mention just that, uh, of course, a link. Uh, links and not in, in uh, land spaces are considered up to equivalence. Which kind of equivalence? So in S3, it's, it's almost the same because you can, you can consider uh, isotopy, isotopy equivalence. So two nodes or links are equivalent in isotopy. If there is an ambient isotopy, who brings the first link in the second? But you can also consider a diff equivalence. Two links are diff equivalence if there is a diffeomorphy who brings the first link in the second. In S3, these two notions are the same if you consider D plus. Or otherwise, there are two classes of D. In less spaces, the things are a, a bit more complicated, but not too much. Because there is this result of this result from Bona on Hodgson and Lubistat that say that the isotopy class of the diffeomorphism. Uh, in, in various cases of the space can be only Z2, Z2 plus S2, and Z4. So for each class of diff equivalence link or not uh, in a land space maybe can be different isotopy class but not more than four. So some, uh, we usually consider isotopic equivalence in uh, this, this, uh, used by, by like the master moves start to which of that. So that's uh, all these conditions cover all the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not easy the first time you look, but if you check everything. The, the only thing, I'm sorry, I'm not sure if this result regards only this plus or all class of the film. For example, for LP3, for L1, this, this minus does not exist. So there is no if, uh, if, uh, if uh, morphism which reserve the orientation. But for other cases of the spaces, I don't know. Maybe 
So if you consider also if minus, you have to double this number of if you know. I have to check the paper, but uh, if you consider uh, uh, if plus, then for less, uh, a partial case, the first space, I mean the square, there is only one plus. Yeah. So, so what? No, no, this is for <coughs> not the result. No, no, the square is not here. Oh, I put it to do Yeah, for the sphere, there is one in plus and two in total. Here, I, I, I think there are only for plus, but maybe not. So maybe you have, in some case, you have to multiply by two the number of. So this is the this is so in S in S3 everybody knows that there is a, a concept of projection in a in a plane. <coughs> Regular projection means, uh, means that there are some non -per, uh, persistent positions which are forbidden and this Moves uh, up to times in the same triple point. So, just to avoiding this the uh, non persistent <coughs> position uh, uh, configuration, there are randomized moves. So, randomized moves uh, say that two, two diagrams of the same link or not are connected by Zot in the diagram and find a set of uh, these three types of moves. For uh, many spaces, there is some analogy. Okay, the first study for links in uh, in length spaces uh, belong to uh, Dobrotukina, who, who was the Y or maybe is the Y for Theo, for Theo. He published a paper in '91 in Leningrad uh, when uh, St. Petersburg was Leningrad. He published in Leningrad Journal of Mathematics in '91 some <coughs> representation uh, and study of links in, in, the, in the projective space. So you take the model of projective space, the same model of before, but in this case, <coughs> also in the equator, two points, um, the, the class of doing of, of a point contain only another point, the antipodal one. So in this case, the, the, the gluing is homogeneous in all the boundary of the, of the world. And so you can project, of course, the link is inside, uh, inside the three ball, except for some points, which are on the boundary. So you, you ask that uh, there are no, no tangents in the boundary. So this is forbidden. And also, you ask that there are no double points in the boundary. So also this configuration is forbidden. They are both non-permanent non configurations. So they are the usual three forbidden configuration plus these two. Um, and so we obtain a obtain a like master type theorem that two links in the projective space are equivalent isotopic equivalent. If and only if the diagrams can be joined by a final sequence of generalized Reidemeister moves. Generalized means that there is the three usual types which are local and there are two additional Reidemeister moves in order to avoid this configuration, the tangency the boundary, uh, there is this move. If you start from this position, then push a little bit, then a point appear here, and then you push again, you take this. This comes from this configuration. And the other move is the fifth one. So <coughs> from this, you just push the crossing point and uh, then the crossing point go to the boundary is forbidden, configuration, then you push again, you obtain this. 
these pools are not completely local. We can say they are semi -local. So there are two additional randomized removal in case of activity. Unfortunately, in case of net spaces, the situation is more complicated. Okay. In, in what is the first problem? The first problem is the equator. I'm moving to uh, general lens spaces. So when P is greater than 2, so the lens spaces is not the projective uh, space, in the identification of the point of equator, there are P points glued together. So <coughs> So is F the projection from uh, from the sphere to the lens space? Sorry? Is is F the covering projection from? No, the no. Sphere? This is. So F. what is F? F. Uh, is the projection. There is uh, some portion. We obtain B3 from B3 to LPQ just with the portion on on boundary of. This is F. This projection is huh? X. This, this yeah. projection is yeah, yeah, yeah. F, right? Yes. Of course. So if, if a point is inside the triple, uh, in this class of this portion, there is only itself. If a point is in the in the, in the boundary, but not in the equator, there are two points in the ball which go to the same points. In the lens space. If the points in the equator, there are three points in, in the boundary. In the equator, which goes to the same point of the equator. So <coughs> this configuration is not is not um, uh, you say permanent because if you if there are if uh, the boundary points are on the equator, if you give a slight push up this and down this so some some uh, new small arcs appear what do you mean by permanent huh? permanent okay. stable stable stable, stable. stable. Yeah. okay uh, there is some permanent homology so now the word permanent Sorry. Is, okay stable thank you very much <coughs> so this is good to this and then there is more art then this, this is good to this there is more art so <coughs> from this, if you project this, you have an arc, but after a slight modification, you have some small arcs. So this, this uh, say that other randomized moves are needed for this case. In fact, other two types of moves appear. Okay, the, the project is clear. Uh, the, the link is inside, or except for some points which are in the boundary, and, and they are blue, blue in the pair, and uh, they are blue in the pair, and no, no point is in the arc. Uh, this is the condition. So the projection is clear. You take a circle from passing in the point of the knot. North Pole, South Pole, and then you, you <coughs> consider the point of this red circle which belongs to the disk equator, the equatorial disk. So you have a some disk diagram. This is the disk diagram corresponding to this thing. Of course, it's better to. to Bring inside the, the, the boundary points. Uh, so this is plus two minus two. This means that this point is good by this, and plus means that is in the upper hemisphere. Minus means is in the lower hemisphere. No point are, are in the equator. So the scene is well defined. So for example, this is three component link because this is one component then plus two goes to minus four, minus four is good to plus four, goes to minus three, goes to plus three, goes to minus two. So there's another component, and then there is a third component here, that goes 
1 plus 1 is equal to minus 1. This is called the disk, regular disk diagram, of course. Any link can be represented by <coughs> a lot of diagrams. We need a complex set of loops which relate in a diagram for the same link. So the forbidden and putting ratio is the usual one for ID master. Then there are the two already seen in, uh, in the case of uh, lens um, projective space. No tangents in the boundary, so you push and you obtain the PC and you obtain this. So and your moves are drawn uh, for L31. So if you have some larger lens space, the, uh, there will be much more small arcs in the, uh, in the lower picture, right? No. I mean, no, 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 yeah. the, lo the lower picture, no, no, the, the lower picture. Here you have, uh, here you, when you go through the unstable configuration, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have four. Yeah, some, some arcs. And so you will get, you will get many arcs. Yeah, yeah. On, uh, it depends on the, on the parameter P. Yeah. Okay, but also the no double point in the boundary has two different possibility. In, in, less, in uh, projective space, there is only one, the, exactly this. But in, a, in our case, this is the same of before in, in case of uh, uh, projective space. But... Sorry, this is the Dramatutina move? Yeah, exactly. Just the just but in our case, another move comes. Because if the two points are in the same hemisphere, plus, plus, and here, minus, minus. After the uh, slight modification, we will pass from here to here. But if the two points are in different hemisphere, plus, minus, when you do a small push, pushing, okay, this goes here, minus two is equal to plus two, and plus one is equal to minus one. So you pass from this to this. Uh, this is another move. This depends if the two points close are in the same hemisphere or not. Same hemisphere is the product in a mode. In different hemisphere there is this difference. And moreover, just to avoid uh, equator, you need also this one. It's clear then these two moves are very bad <laughs> in some sense. Because here some crossing is a here and here a lot of so this set of moves which are complete uh the of okay most data but uh, maybe before yes two links and zero and one in L2 are equivalent if and only if the diagrams can be joined by a final sequence of general that are minimized the move L1 till, till L7. In case P equal to 2, only L1, 2, L, L5 is, is admitted. But of course, these last two moves are a bit nasty. So it's very difficult in this approach to, to try to generalize some variance, similar to Kaufman. But anyway, we obtain some result in this representation, and uh, this representation we uh, will see uh, is very, very convenient in order to get the lift, uh, the lift of the north from the lens place to S3 in the universal problems. We will discuss later about this. Okay, then there are a, a lot of standard results. For example, fundamental group is very easy in, in this representation to obtain. <coughs> we can suppose that there are only arcs, not circle, and only arcs which goes from uh, two other passes, or maybe from uh, one boundary point to another pass. We avoid uh, arcs which which are uh, which connects two boundary points. So we, in this case, we add this. Uh, loop uh, with like the nice type one loops. So we will have uh, some standard description of, of the fundamental group. 
the generic curves are uh, in one one bijection with the arcs of this presentation. And then there is a, an additional generator for the lens spaces. For the F is the generator of the fundamental group of the lens spaces. Then there are three types of, of relation. The first type, type double U, uh, are usual virting relation in the crossing points. Uh, yes. Somewhere. Here. So for each crossing point there is a virting relation with the same of uh, north in the street. Then there is a lens relation which relates the <coughs> the generators of the fundamental group with some of the generators. <coughs> we can div uh, divide generators into two parts. Uh, the generators corresponding to boundary points starting from the boundary points in the upper hemisphere. So first is plus one, second starting from plus two, third from plus three, fourth from plus four, then fifth from minus one, then uh, etc. until minus four, and then at the end, x, which uh, have no points in the boundary, a nine and a ten. This is convenient just to describe the relation, the relators. So there is some <coughs> relator which uh, there is the, funda uh, the generator of fundamental group of lens spaces and the, the generators corresponding to points, boundary points in the upper hemisphere. And then, of course, uh, no. there are generators which, since this point is connected with this, there are some relation between A1 and A5 is a conjugation relation, as everybody can, can uh, argue. So there are some uh, conjugation relation between uh, the generator of the points in the lower hemisphere and the generator of the corresponding points in the upper hemisphere. This is a conjugation. So at the end of the story, there is a standard procedure to, to obtain fundamental group. And uh, also, uh, from this, we can uh, compute homology group for, for links <coughs> in S3 homology group. First homology group of the stereo is some, in some sense trivial because it's a billion free of rank uh, the number of components. But for less spaces, is no longer true. Uh, don't read this is completely wrong, so don't read. But the corollary is okay. The corollary, so let L be a link in LPQ with component L1, L2, Ln. Then the homology of the exterior of the link is uh, Z to the N, so the same as the link was in S3, but maybe there is a torsion factor, Zd. What is Zd? What is D? D is the com greatest common division between P, the first parameter of the lens spaces, and D1, D2, Dn, which are the homology, the homology of the component of the links. The, the component of the links are circular in the space. They have some homology class in the homology. The homology is Zp. So some number not D. So you take the greatest common division and uh, this is the, the extra factor Z2. Of course, uh, D may be one some, in some cases, but in some other cases it's not one. So, <coughs> for example, for, for Alexander polynomial, since there is a torsion factor Zd, we can define also twisted <coughs> Alexander polynomial. Uh, there are exactly D, this is Alexander polynomial, uh, this uh, different, this set of Alexander polynomial may help us to distinguish some, some not in, uh, in the spaces. 
So in the case when P is equal to 2, there is a 2 torsion? Uh, yeah. When, uh, when P is equal to 2, this may be Z2, yes. For example, if you have a local knot in a length space, D is equal to P, no P. But local knots are not very interesting. <laughs> Uh, but sometimes we would like to detect when I know uh, there is very very easy procedure to, to calculate these these numbers. It's explaining here what is wrong. So the procedure is very easy. Just count, take take the component of the link, for example this. This is the wrong component. Uh, count how many uh, in correspondence of the plus points, if the R go uh, start from this point, uh, in this case, you put uh, plus one, plus one. So the homology here is plus one, plus one, plus two times Q. So the homology which for any component is Q sum of epsilon i component. And epsilon i is plus minus one, is plus one in this case, and minus one in, the, in this case. Minus one. Of course, in order to obtain homology, you need to again the link, but also for fundamental. So you can obtain the homology of any component uh, directly from the diagram and then compute this extra factor. For example, these two knots is a knot in L, in L P, P minus 1 over 2 with P odd. These two knots are have the same fundamental group, the exterior of these two knots, in case of Q is equal to P plus minus 1 over 2, these two groups are the same. <laughs> These two nodes are um, prime, but <coughs> they are not equivalent because the homology, the homology of this knot is is one, and the homology of this is two. So, <coughs> the for prime nodes in LP cube, the fundamental group is not a complete invariant. In S3 is true. Sorry. Up to but homology is the delimitation. Eh? Homology is the delimitation yeah. fundamental. So how it no, be? no, I mean not the homology of the exterior. Uh -huh. The homology of the link. Uh -huh. The link is a circle, so are some homology. So the homology of this, of this link, you know, this knot is one. The homology of this is two. Is because two is one. So in this case. Uh, there is only plus one here. Here there is plus one, plus one, plus two. So the homology is one in this case of the link of the knot and two in this case. So they may, they cannot be uh, equivalent for example. Another interesting result which is true in S3 but is not true in, in S spaces is shown by this example. There is a theorem of Norwood which states that a two generator knot in S3 is prime, but in the length space is not true because this is of course not prime. It's a trifoil times a knot. This type of knot. So it's not prime. But if you compute the fundamental group is two generator. So it's not true that a two generator knot in the length spaces uh, is always prime. Okay, I, I mentioned about about twist Alexander polynomial. Uh, since the torsion of the exterior <coughs> is is not always trivial, we can define twist Alexander polynomial using the the <coughs> root the d root of uh, the d root of the unity. Uh, 
and so for some knots we obtain different polynomials. For example, this is the trivial knot, uh, the trifoil knot in the land spaces. It's a local knot because it's contained in a board, and uh, it's, it's easy to see that in case of, uh, of uh, local knot, the Alexander polynomial is uh, p times the Alexander polynomial of the knot in S3. So in, in S3, the Alexander polynomial of trifoil is this one. So in this case, since the range space is L41, we obtain four times this one. But the, the most important thing is for trivial knot, the other um, twisted Alexander polynomial, you see 1 minus 1 i minus y i are the four root of unity. Uh, all other Alexander polynomial, twisted Alexander polynomial are zero. So, for example, this knot has no trivial twisted Alexander polynomial. This means that it's not local. So we have some way to detect the, the triviality, the locality of some knot in this case. In both cases, the, the homology of the knot is, is uh, zero. Okay. The last, in, in this last five minutes, I would mention <coughs> some other result obtained by my friend and published is about lift. So if you have a, a knot in a lane space, you can take the canonical universal covering, which is a, a cyclic covering of, of order P. So you have a, a link here, called this the universal covenant, we take L and just consider L prime is P minus 1 of L. This is a knot in S3. So you can lift a knot or link from the space to S3 and then study the lift. Of course, if two knots are equivalent, the lifting are equivalent, but the opposite, the reverse is not true, so it's not very difficult to find, and Manfredi did exactly, to find <coughs> different link or knots in the space which admit uh, equivalent lift. For example, ah, the, the first thing is uh, with, with uh, uh, this diagram, it's possible to obtain the diagram of the lift. For example, if the diagram, the, this diagram in the red space is this, in order to obtain the diagram of the lifting in S3, you take P copy of this diagram, 1, 2, 3, and P, and then connect, connect by braids, which is guard side braids of order T. Of course, there are T, T points here and T points here. You can arrange the points uh, in the way that here there are all all plus uh, points in the buffer and here by moves is possible uh, uh, p consecutive uh, t consecutive uh, point uh, plus and t consecutive point minus so upper bound and then blue with the gar side gar side braid mentioned by also by <coughs> the sheen the gas and braid is a trivial and strand braid and then you, look, you give a 180 rotation on, on one part. And this, this is the gas and braid on T strands. So you do here, here, here. And at the end of the story you do the first with the last with the gas and braid to the power two to the minus one. So we have a standard procedure starting from the diagram in the red space to obtain the diagram in uh, S3 of the leaf. And using this, Manfredi found some example of different, different knots and links 
in less spaces uh, which admit the same the same lifting. For example, these two knots. Uh, this is a one component knot. This is a two component knot. So link. In fact, no, no, sorry. One component and one two component two knots in L41. But the lifting is the same. It's the trivial knot in. Uh, this is another example. Uh, this is uh, a knot, but this is a link. It doesn't work. This is a two-component link, but the lifting of both is the off link in uh, in, uh, in a string. And but these two examples are not very exciting because. Okay, it's clear that these two knots are not equivalent because here the knot is one, here is two, and here there are one component and two components. But Manfred also found an example of this is a two component link, also this is a component link, the same homology, the same uh, <coughs> fundamental group, but different Alexander polynomial. And the lifting is some cable of the off -field. So this example can be generalized and so uh, I think that an infinite family of links in uh, length spaces uh, with the same homology, same fundamental group, uh, but the lifting, uh, but they are different because Alexander polynomial is different and the lifting is the same. So I would like to finish here. Thank you. In this, in this, I, it comes from from. I, I, I wrote, sorry, I can't write. It comes from uh, a paper by Sakuma and Rivada from Bolo Flapan. They they study some symmetry of knots, but if we rephrase is their result in terms of lifting of knot theory, there is there is this result. Yes, no, I should say. Maybe ask me. No question? 
Okay, so let's thank the speaker. This five? This one. This is the same? Uh, yes, but there are some mistakes. Yeah, it's even better. Eh? Even better? Okay. There are some mistakes, but not too big.